Hello and welcome back to another week in new genre books. My name is Amelia and from Locus Magazine I'm about to tell you the top new science fiction, fantasy, and horror books being published the week of February 6th, 2024. First up science fiction, we have four full-length new books coming out this week to tell you about. From Will McCarthy we have Beggar's Sky out from Bain in hardcover and ebook. This is a near future science fiction novel third in the Rich Man's Sky series. Trillionaire Igbal Renz has constructed a starship capable of making the 20 year journey to Alpha Centauri. So why is he stopping at barely one-tenth that distance with a cargo of a hundred frozen scientists and diplomats? Rumors abound that Renz Ventures Incorporated has made contact with something? Hopefully he's brought a few linguists if he's trying to communicate with that something. From Alvaro Zeno Samaro, we have first novel Equimedian out from Hex Publishers in trade paperback, hardcover, and ebook. This is a science fiction novel. Jason Velez, who scrapes by installing virtual reality machines and maintaining his science fiction collection, decides he needs to change his life, but the world around him starts changing first. From Terry Hayes, we have The Year of the Locust, out from Atria in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a post apocalyptic science fiction spy thriller. Kane, spy for the CIA, travels to exfiltrate a man with vital information to the safety of the West. What he finds there is an adversary that will take the world to the brink of extinction. From Marissa Wolf, we have Beyond Enemies, out from Bain in trade paperback and ebook. This is a military science fiction novel. Talin, Reezy, and B serve as Breezy, one of the United Colonial Force Elite's artificial intelligence troops' premier heavy tanks leading assaults on several fronts of the long war against the Interstellar Defense Corps. When they're thrown to a backwater base without cause, boredom becomes their main enemy until the world falls out from under their treads and they begin to question everything they've ever known. Which just seems like a healthy thing for all of us to do, questioning everything we've ever known. Next up horror, we have three titles this week. From Simon R. Green, we have The Holy Terrors, out from Severn House in hardcover and ebook. This is a mystery slash horror novel in the eponymous series about a scripted TV ghost hunting show that locks six semi celebrities in a haunted hall and live streams the results as strange things happen, and then someone dies. And I bet they're gonna blame the ghosts. And just from a power perspective, like, is that punching down for the living to blame the dead when something goes wrong? From Sunny Moraine, we have Your Shadow Half Remains, out from Nightfire in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a horror novella, an expansion of story. If living is seeing, I'm holding my breath. In a post apocalyptic world where eye contact causes people to spiral into a deadly, violent rage, Riley wants to look at the new neighbor down the road. From Nia Davenport, we have Out of Body, out from Balzer and Bray in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult body swap thriller. 17 year old Megan Allen meets adventurous, charismatic LC and finally feels like she's becoming the person she's meant to be. Someone like LC. But on the night of their friend anniversary, what was supposed to be a bonding experience ends in a waking nightmare. Suddenly, Megan is no longer herself betrayed by her best friend, thrust into another girl's life, and targeted by Elsie's enemies. She must claim what makes Megan Megan to get her life back or die trying. Next up fantasy, we have eight titles. From Robert Jackson Bennett, we have The Tainted Cup, out from Del Rey in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a fantasy mystery novel, first in the shadow of the Leviathan series. A high imperial office dies when a tree erupts from his body, and the brilliant detective Anna Dolabra investigates with the help of her newly magically altered assistant, Dinius Cole. From George R.R. R. Martin and Melinda M. Snodgrass, we have George R.R. R. Martin Presents Wild Cards, Sleeper Straddle, out from Bantam in hardcover and ebook. This is an anthology slash mosaic novel in Martin's Wild Cards universe, written by authors including Cherry Priest, Carrie Vaughn, Walter John Williams, and William F. Wu. From Case and Calendar, we have Infinity Alchemist, out from Tortine in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel. Ash Woods studies alchemy in secret, illegally, while working as a groundskeeper at Lancaster College of Alchemic Science. But a student catches him and promises to keep his secret if he helps her find a book that will give her great power. 
seems like an okay deal, and this is me editorializing again, but would it be better for him to get these terms in writing or rely on her honor when she said she'd keep his secret? I'm assuming he holds up his end of the deal. And if it's up to me, I'd probably go with the handshake deal over the contract for something like this. I came up in old school publishing, so I think there's power in a handshake deal because you're relying on people's honor rather than whatever language made it into a contract. From Margot Livesey, we have The Road, out from Belhaven, out from Knopf, in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a historical fantasy novel about a woman in 19th century Scotland who, as a girl, sees calamities before they happen, but no one believes her. She struggles to find her path in a time when women have few rights. From Richard Swan, we have The Trials of Empire, out from Orbit US in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a fantasy mystery novel, the third in the Empire of the Wolf trilogy. To save the Empire of the Wolf, Sir Conrad von Vault and Helena must look beyond its borders for allies to the wolfmen of the Southern Plains and the pagan clans in the North. But old grievances run deep. From Camille Gomera Tavares, we have The Girl, The Ring, and the baseball bat, out from Levine Querido in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel about a trio of teens with magic talismans, a magical jacket that gets people to obey, a baseball bat that fixes whatever it breaks, and a manifestation stone that makes anyone fall in love with the holder. From Naz Kutub, we have No Time Like Now, out from Bloomsbury, USA, in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult fantasy romance novel. Teen Hazim can grant any living thing extra time, but learns he's given away more time than he has left to live. He must take back some of the time he's given. From Jamie Pacton, we have The Absinthe Underground, out from Peachtree Teen, in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a young adult fantasy romance novel about Sybil Clarion, a teen thief caught stealing, who then gets asked to sneak into the Fey realm and steal the crown jewels from Queen Mab. Finally, in anthologies slash collections, we have three new titles. From Su Lin Tan, we have Tales of the Celestial Kingdom, out from Harper Voyager US in hardcover ebook and audio. This is an original collection of nine fantasy stories, two reprints from the world of the Celestial Kingdom duology, inspired by Chinese mythology illustrated by Kelly Chong. From Lisa Mangum, we have A Bit of Luck, Alternate Histories in Honor of Eric Flint, out from Wordfire Press in trade paperback, hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is an original anthology of 20 stories. Authors include Kevin J. Anderson, Carrie Callahan, Charles E. Gannon, Mary Pletch, and Jennifer Roberts. From Jenna Rose Nethercott, we have 50 Beasts to Break Your Heart and Other Stories, out from Penguin Random House in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a collection of dark fairy tales and fractured folklore. And speaking of fractured folklore, did anyone else grow up watching Rocky and Bullwinkle with the fractured fairy tales? Maybe whatever you see as a kid sets the standard for what you think life is capable of, but I don't know that I've ever loved TV more than I loved Rocky and Bullwinkle, except, I suppose, for The X-Files and Star Trek. And we could come up with some others if we took four and a half seconds to think about it. And Star Trek would have totally been cancelled if it wasn't for science fiction fandom rallying to support it, particularly B. Joe Trimble, and we owe Lucille Ball a debt of gratitude as well, since she produced Star Trek in its infancy. Anyway, this channel is about books, not TV, but everything is connected and we can't help but geek out about it. That wraps up this week. Come see us at Locus Mag or at Locus Magazine on most platforms, www.locusmag or our Patreon. Thanks for spending some time with us. Please drop us a like and please subscribe so that you'll see us again. We'll be here next week with more new books.